Good day to you and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing on how to install Ant Media Server. Please stay tuned. Now let's get started. First, we need to download the latest version of Ant Media Server, the Community Edition. Please check their website for the latest version, and as usual all commands are available in my blog website, link in the description below. This process may take a while, I will now fast forward the video. Next, we need to download the installer script. This script will assist us to install Ant Media Server. Once the script is downloaded, we need to change the script file to be an executable. Now, we can install Ant Media Server. Type in the following command, and as usual, all these commands are available in my blog website, link in the description below. The installation may take a few minutes, I will now fast forward the installation process.
Once the installation have completed, if you have enabled UFW, then we need to configure some ports to be allowed through. Please add port 5080 slash TCP. Next, add port 5443 slash TCP. Next, add the RTMP port, which is port number 1935 slash TCP. Now, add the SRT port, the number is 4200 slash UDP. Finally, verify all the ports have been configured correctly. As mentioned earlier, all these ports must also be configured in your router's settings. You also need to configure port forwarding in your router, your router screen may differ from mine. Once all the ports have been configured correctly, it is now time to open your preferred browser. In the URL box, type in your domain name or IP address with port number 5080. Once the page is loaded successfully, you will be prompted to create the first administrator account. Proceed to create the credentials as you preferred. Once the account has been created, you just continue to log in with credentials you have created earlier. Congratulations! You have successfully installed Ant Media Server, next we will start a demo stream for testing. Inside the Ant Media dashboard, on the left pane, under Applications drop down, click on the Live App option. Then locate the New Live Streams button and select Playlist option. Type in any name you want for it. In my case, I will just call the Demo Stream. Once done, click on the Create button. Next, under the VOD tab, click on the Upload VOD button. This is to upload your pre-recorded live video. The upload may take a while and depends on your video size. Once the upload have completed, you will now see the video file listed there. Take note of the VOD's ID number just beneath the file name. Now, we need to copy that VOD number and paste it into a notepad. Then we need to append it at the start of the line with the domain name, the port number, the live app name, the stream's name, and finally append a MP4 extension at the end of the line. Finally, just copy the entire line from the notepad. Next, is to return back to Live Streams menu and edit the Streams playlist. Then, click on the Add Playlist Item button and select Add URL Directly option, then paste in the line copied from notepad earlier. For easy reference, give the VOD a simple name. 
then, click on that, Add button. Once done, just click on the Save button. Next, is to click on the Sandwich button, then select Start Broadcast option. Wait for a few seconds and the streams will start broadcasting the video. To start a live broadcast in YouTube, you will need to log into your YouTube account and goes to YouTube Studio page. Now, click on the Create Video button and then select Go Live option. In the Go Live page, take note of the stream URL info, you will need to copy that URL first and paste it into Notepad. Then, you also need to copy the stream key info and also paste it at the end of the line in Notepad. Then, copy the entire line in Notepad. And return back to Ant Media Server page. Under Live Streams menu, click on the Sandwich button and select Edit RTMP Endpoints option. Then, paste the line copied from Notepad just now into the blank box. And click on the Add RTMP Endpoint button. When done, just click on the Close button. Return back to YouTube Studio page, wait for a few seconds, then the live video will start playing in the preview screen. Thumbs up! You have now started your own live broadcast in YouTube. Thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. It will be a great motivation for me.